Welcome to Daily Wisdom, Walking the Path with the Buddha, a podcast shared by David Roylance. This podcast is dedicated to guiding you to completely eliminate the discontent mind and the suffering it causes by attaining enlightenment. Learn and practice the teachings of Gotama Buddha that will guide you to fully attain a peaceful, calm, serene, and content mind with joy. To support this podcast, visit patreon.com forward slash support Buddha or visit buddhadailywisdom.com where you will discover a full range of courses, retreats, and online learning resources to assist you on the path to enlightenment. Now, here's our teacher to share more. Chapter 12. Identifying Attachments. Cultivating Non-Clinging in Analysis of the Mind. In your pursuit of Nibbana, it is highly beneficial that you develop this most important skill, the ability to identify your own attachments through analysis of the mind. The path leading to the cessation of discontentedness and the suffering it causes involves the elimination of attachments or clinging. Because we cause our own discontentedness through attachments, to eliminate discontentedness we must eliminate our mental attachments. First, you need to know what an attachment is. Attachment, clinging, craving, desire, a mental longing for something with a strong eagerness. Second, you need to know how to identify your own attachments through analysis of the mind so that you can eliminate them. You do not need to eliminate your possessions or relationships, but the mind's tendency to want to attach or cling to possessions, relationships, the body, the self-image, and especially the ego, among other things. The mind is an expert at finding things to attach and hold on to. You need to train the mind to identify attachments and eliminate them all. There is no such thing as a good attachment. The path to Nibbana is an independent journey with the guidance of teachers. You cannot rely on others to tell you what your attachments are. You need to identify them for yourself. This requires training the mind in this new skill and training the mind to be honest with yourself. In this way, we need to all strive to pursue a more peaceful and content mind. Meditation is the practice within your life practice that helps you to observe the mind and be aware of what's in the mind, so that through training you can empty the mind. Meditation is a practice that takes time to establish. Next to meditation, you need the practice that when you have discontentedness, to find what the mind is attaching to that is causing the mind to be discontent. You may actually have several attachments that cause one burst of outrage, anger, or other emotions. Examples of discontentedness are... Anger, sadness, frustration, irritation, annoyance, guilt, shame, fear, anxiety, stress, excitement, happiness, elation, loneliness, boredom, shyness, or even just an uncomfortable and displeased mental state, etc. Discontentedness is a painful feeling, a pleasant feeling, and a feeling that is neither painful nor pleasant. The ability to identify your own attachments is paramount to your progress along the path to Nibbana. The Four Noble Truths explains exactly why we are having discontentedness. It is caused by our own attachments or clinging. The Four Noble Truths explains to us that we must eliminate our attachments and practice the Eightfold Path in order to eliminate our own discontented mind. But, If you do not develop the ability to identify the mind's attachments, how could you ever eliminate them and thus reach Nibbana? We must all develop this skill by being honest with ourselves and looking inwardly through analysis of the mind. This important skill is so crucial in the pursuit of Nibbana. It requires investigation of the mind so that you can observe the mind's attachments. Meditation and being able to identify one's own attachments are the two most important skills a practitioner needs to develop on this path to the enlightened mind. Unwelcomed emotions are just indicators that something is not satisfied within the mind. These unwelcomed emotions indicate that the mind is discontent. Then, 
you must actively take steps to investigate the mind to discover the attachments so that they can be eliminated and the mind can be content. By eliminating the attachments, the mind will be peaceful, calm, serene, and content with joy and not experience discontentedness from the attachments. To attain enlightenment, a practitioner will need to eliminate 100% of all attachments. Practice. Look at the last time you were angry. What was the situation? What made the mind angry? It wasn't someone else, what they said, what they did, or the situation, etc. That's what you may think now, but look deeper for your own attachments. What inside the mind caused the anger? What was the attachment or attachments that you are holding that caused the mind to be angry? The end of each chapter will have learning resources for further exploration. You will be able to explore videos, podcasts, quizzes, etc. to deepen your learning of the content you read in each chapter. Please see the ebook for more details on these resources. As you have questions or need clarification on these teachings, you are welcome to post those into the Facebook group, Daily Wisdom, Walking the Path with the Buddha, or contact the author privately for in-depth learning. Daily Wisdom, Walking the Path with the Buddha, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Daily Wisdom 999. Thank you for listening to this podcast. To provide support for this podcast, visit patreon.com forward slash support Buddha. To access more teachings, visit buddhadailywisdom.com. There, you will discover a full range of courses, retreats, and online resources to assist you on the path to enlightenment. Remember to establish a daily, consistent meditation practice, along with learning and practicing these teachings. A well-developed meditation practice is the foundation in which to train the mind to attain enlightenment.